Hey everyone, welcome back to Rewilding the Future. Today we're talking about the Asian black bear, also known as the moon bear due to the crescent-shaped white marking on its chest, is a medium-sized bear species with strong limbs, large claws, and a stocky build adapted for climbing trees. Adults typically weigh 60 to 200 kilograms, males being larger than females, and stand about 70 centimeters at the shoulder, with a body length of 120 to 190 centimeters. Their thick black fur provides insulation against colder climates, while their powerful forelimbs allow them to excel at both climbing and digging. These bears inhabit a wide variety of forested environments ranging from subtropical evergreen forests to temperate broadleaf and mixed forests, and in some regions, even up to alpine meadows at 4,300 meters elevation. They thrive in areas with dense tree cover, abundant fruiting plants, and access to water. Their range extends across the Himalayas, Southeast Asia, the Russian Far East, Korea, Japan, and China, showing remarkable adaptability to different climates. Asian black bears are omnivorous opportunists. They consume fruits, nuts, berries, roots, honey, and insects, but also prey on small to medium-sized mammals such as wild boar piglets, ungulate fawns, and carrion. In agricultural landscapes, they sometimes raid crops such as maize or orchards, Asian black bears are primarily solitary, except during the mating season or when mothers are rearing cubs. Breeding occurs between June and August, with females giving birth to one to three cubs during hibernation in a den or tree hollow. Cubs stay with their mother for nearly two years, learning survival skills. Like other bears, they exhibit delayed implantation, where the fertilized egg only implants if conditions are suitable. Adult Asian black bears face few natural predators, but tigers and brown bears may occasionally prey on them. Cubs, however, are vulnerable to leopards, doles, and large raptors. The greatest threat today is humans, through poaching, deforestation, and the illegal bear bile trade. The species belongs to the Ursidae family, diverging from the brown bear lineage around three to four million years ago. Fossil evidence indicates that ancestral black bears were once widespread across Europe, Asia, and even parts of North America, showing how far their distribution has contracted due to climate change and human expansion. Today, Asian black bears range from Iran, Afghanistan, and the Himalayas across East Asia to Japan and the Russian Far East. Historically, they also roamed parts of continental Europe during the Pleistocene, where fossil remains have been found. Climate cooling and human pressures pushed them out of Europe thousands of years ago. In many Asian cultures, the bear is both feared and revered. In Chinese and Japanese folklore, it symbolizes strength, courage, and resilience. Sadly, it is also central to the controversial bear bile farming industry, where bears are exploited for traditional medicine, a practice that continues illegally in some regions. In Himalayan traditions, the moon bear is sometimes viewed as a guardian of forests and a spiritual animal. The IUCN lists the Asian black bear as vulnerable, with declining populations due to habitat loss, hunting, and poaching. Current estimates suggest around 40,000 to 50,000 remain in the wild, with strongholds in the Russian Far East, the Himalayas, and remote parts of Southeast Asia. In some regions, like South Korea, they survive only due to reintroduction programs. Rewilding efforts are underway in countries like South Korea and Japan, where breeding and reintroduction programs have helped stabilize populations in protected reserves. Expanding forest corridors, reducing human wildlife conflict, and stronger anti-poaching laws are vital to their survival. Because Asian black bears once lived in parts of Europe during the Ice Age, rewilding advocates suggest that they could theoretically be reintroduced to suitable forest habitats in the Balkans, Carpathians, or Iberia. However, the presence of the brown bear and concerns over human-bear conflict make this proposal controversial. Yet, as Europe explores Pleistocene rewilding, with species like bison, lynx, lions, and elephants being discussed, the Asian black bear could one day be part of a restoration experiment, filling an ecological role as a forest guardian and seed disperser. The Asian black bear, the moon bear, is more than a symbol of mystery in Asia's forests. It is a seed disperser, a forest engineer, and a guardian of balance. Yet it faces extinction across much of its range due to poaching, deforestation, and human conflict. But there is hope. Conservation projects in Russia, Japan, Korea, and the Himalayas are giving this ancient species a chance to survive, and maybe even thrive again. 
Protecting the moon bear means protecting the forests that billions of other species, including humans, depend upon. Perhaps one day, as Europe explores Pleistocene rewilding, the moon bear could return to the forests it once walked thousands of years ago. The moon bear reminds us every forest needs its guardians, every ecosystem its keepers. By saving them, we save ourselves. Thank you for watching. If this journey inspired you, please like, subscribe, and tap the bell so you don't miss our next rewilding story.